suspected Boko Haram financiers slams Sony General of the Federation over alleged unlawful detention. Okay, some um, suspected um, Boko Haram financiers have dragged the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abu Kamalami, before a Farah High Court in Abuja with 20, um, 53 different suits um, challenging what they tamed their unlawful detention by the government of Nigeria. In the cases instituted separately, the alleged Boko Haram financiers are claiming that the federal government is violating their individual fundamental human rights by detaining them beyond the stipulated constitutional period and without initiating criminal charges against them for whatever crime. Okay, they are seeking an order of court to um, um, terminate the alleged unlawful in, in incarceration and monetary compensation from the government for curtailing their um, right to freedom of movement and in breach of their constitutional guaranteed rights and losses in their business and losses rather in their businesses and um, plain Plaintiffs who have um, been in the custody of security agents for over a month are bill the change operators alleged to have been using their services to advance the um, the cause of Boko Haram terrorists. The AGF is, however, claimed that the plaintiffs were huddled uh, into detention on account of alleged offering material and financial support to the dreaded Boko Haram terrorists unleashing mayhem on Nigerian citizens, mainly in the northeastern uh, part of the country. Malami, a senior advocate of Nigeria, um, alleged that the plaintiffs have been providing finance and resources to the um, terrorists, thereby sustaining them in the heinous crime against the um, government of the Federation. Um, AGF further claimed that the, sus the suspect had been detained on the valid order of court pending uh, of court pending completion of investigation into their activities to determine their level of their individual compli um, complicity. Um, however, at the Federal High Court, where these cases were listed for mentioned before a vacation judge, um, Justice Ahmed Ramat Muhammad, some of the suits were consolidated due to their similarity in claims against federal governments. Justice Muhammad, whose period as a vacation judge um, terminated today, is set to proceed for national assignments outside Nigeria, fixed September 1st, 2021, for further mention of the matters. He ordered parties in the suits to file and exchange process processes as required by law to facilitate quick determination of issues in disputes. Malami had during the last week ED El Kabil Salah told the media inside the presidential villa that over 40 alleged financiers of Boko Haram suspected have been found and promised that the Federal Minister of Justice will put them on trial after completion of their interrogation. <laughs> okay, oh, they have every right to sue these people because if not, why would it give um, amnesty to um, Boko Haram who are killing people and detain um, Boko um, suspected um, financiers? Just imagine these people. They have to release those people too and give them compensation. Exactly. Because if not, then this is um, injustice. Let's put it that way because if they should put those people uh, on trial and free uh, Boko Haram themselves, then i don't know what this country is falling into this is not what is called justice this is not justice at all i don't even think these people know what justice really means they have just been giving nigerians false promises of giving them justice but they are not doing anything of such let's go to the comment section and hear what people have to say about this i wonder how he got san you have not concluded investigation and you went ahead to make arrests. Who does that? <laughs> other than a fool before FBI, CIA and other, and other agencies over the, the make any arrests. Investigations have been concluded. Lawyers and judge advices uh, most, of, uh, most have been sought for before and any arrest is made. So the court straight you go rubbish. Okay? Shut up your trap. Don't comment on what you don't know. Who is this one?
Their arrest must have affected Boko Haram so much that they are now surrendering, okay? Um, no money, no finance, their nefarious activities, eh? Okay? Everyone has their own uh, um, opinion on every matter's at hand. So whatever you have to say right now is your own personal opinion. Um, they have the money to prosecute the government and AGF and the other fact that they have Gumi as their own. Gumi the untouchable. Okay? Um, the federal government of Nigeria is detaining finances of BH but would not prosecute those who have been killing innocent Nigerians claiming that they had surrendered. Okay? What is so special about Boko Haram finances that their names can't be mentioned, okay? The, the accused is now the compliant, okay? Now lie, now all lie, Malami tell them waiting to do uh, because Falano asked question about them, <laughs> okay? For God's sake, can you guys get the, the message? It was a turn around another level. Okay, Malami can frame up anybody, especially those opposing government policies. Let him change, uh, charge them to court if he has anything against them. Okay, watch out. This government will deliberately blunder the case so as to pay the charge and fund Boko Haram further. The real fighters' arrests are being pardoned, not to talk of finances. Okay, um, right now, when their offense are not confirmed, exposed, are not treated, are not treated with kids' glove. Okay, there is nothing we will not see in Nigeria. Smoke screen arrest. <laughs> in Nigerian judgment is cash and carry negotiate with Malami, the chief officer of Nigeria, and get your um, release and cases evidence destroyed. Put them in jail if you have the capacity. Game plan: the judge will grant them bail sharp sharp. <laughs> Okay, we all know that um, Nigeria has law. There is no law in Nigeria right now at its stands because um, Malami and um, and um, this uh, Attorney General of Federation, whatever, um, he doesn't even know what he's doing over there. They just um, grant. They just gave him that um, pose for um, religion's sake, or rather for uh, uh, ethnic cities. Um, sick because he doesn't deserve to be where he is he doesn't even know what justice is really about what an annoying and stupid case anyway this kind of thing can only happen in the type of government going on in nigeria where the leaders have no mercy respect and conscience the fear of god really eluded the so-called leaders just imagine now wow we all know that they won't do anything to these people they are going to free them anyway if they can actually um re release um repentance boko haram and give them amnesty then what are we talking about well you can go to the comment section and share your take and your opinion on this matter thanks for listening